All right, y'all. I am Jonathan Joyner. This is Hunt the Front, and we just took care of another wasp nest. Although I do believe they had long abandoned it. Maybe they, uh, if you saw in our last video, I had a nest on the other side that I sprayed with brake parts cleaner and uh, run a few of them off. And uh, maybe that got the ones in their attention as well. Thank you uh, to those of you who said, hey, there's another nest you missed. So got that one. All right, it is a Thursday evening. Uh, if y'all saw in a previous video, I have been in New York City on vacation, a little family vacation, but now I am home and it is time to get the 56 car ready to go racing. We'll be taking it to Southern Raceway Saturday night, uh, uh, just a regular weekly show where I'm eight points behind the two car. I hear he's coming loaded for bear, got him a new body, some new shocks. I'll be in my same old junk, but we'll be there doing our best with it. Uh, got to get some tires. I got to go out to the big shop out at my daddy's house and get some tires from joseph <clears throat> that he ran last time actually he won on them he's gonna let me run them this week so i gotta get those and i gotta get the battery charger from him because we only have one 16 volt battery charger those things are expensive uh so i can get uh, my car finished up while we're out there we're gonna take a look at something i think you're gonna find very interesting uh it is a street stock car that Joseph's going to be driving uh, this weekend and then hopefully in a couple of weeks at Why Not Motorsports Park in Why Not Mississippi at the Str Southern Street Stock Nationals. Uh, the car is owned, well, we'll go into more details. It's owned by Howie Reeves, a local racer here, a friend of ours. And uh, he's going to have Joseph drive it, like I said, this weekend and then also in a couple of weeks at the Southern Street Stock Nationals. So we're going to go check that out. Joseph, I know, has got a lot of work to do to get that thing ready to go for Saturday night. Uh, we'll let him tell us a little bit about it, let y'all see it, and uh, hopefully help him get a little work done. And then also, like I said, uh, get uh, some tires and that battery charger so that I can get this car ready to go for Saturday night as well. Alright, y'all, we made it out to the big shop. I'm gonna get in here and check out this street stock. While I'm thinking about it, I wanted to uh, remind y'all about a podcast I went on earlier this week with the dirt nerds check out the dirt nerds podcast for an interview i did earlier this week i'm gonna leave a link down in the description also big thank you to the dirt nerds for sending me the hat all right let's get in here and check out this uh this street stop there it is old street stalker oh look at joseph in there how hey, you in there the wrong way buddy oh, that's not the right street stop <laughs> yeah i bet Man, that thing's pretty sharp. Yeah. Old street stock. Got that right color, black, like the rest of our cars. Like that orange spoiler. My buddy messaged me on Snapchat today after I posted a picture of it. He said, that thing needs a tire mark on it. <laughs> He raced the street stock out there. Uh, yeah. He's gonna give you one? Yeah. <laughs> you better watch that guy. Yeah. You don't wanna name any names? No. <laughs> hey, that ain't no crate motor. No, That's a built motor. Built motor. Built motor. Right there. They run uh, GM crate motors in these things like we do in our crate. That's uh, in our crate late models. Except these are 602s over here in our crate late models. Those are 604, about a 50 power, uh, horsepower difference. But this is a built motor. You got that option as well. You got to run the two barrel with a built motor. Yeah. Wow. Oh, evens the playing field there. All right, here's our list. Let's see what all we got. Man, look at all that. Not a whole lot to cross off. <laughs> well, at least you're working on an uh, enclosed cockpit. Yeah. All right, so this car is, let me get you in there where they can see you. Whose race car is this? Howie Reeves. Howie Reeves. He's won a lot of street stock races. Yeah, he's a stock car man around here. Uh, been doing it a long time. Always got good stuff, and it's a pleasure to drive his stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a first time we done it was last year. About the same time we got got together, and he uh, he's a big you know big street stock race, and wanted to wanted to take his car, and so we got together and uh, <clears throat> run a car last year, and had a good time, and. Had such a good time, we wanted to go back and do it this year. Do it again this year. Damn. The big race, the big race Joseph was talking about, is the Southern Street Stock Nationals. We can get more into that later when it's closer to time, but there were a hundred and, what was it, 
thirty something. Hundred and thirty something cars there last year and Joseph street stocks. Street stocks. Street stocks. Hundred and thirty something street stocks. Joseph finished fourth uh in one of Howie's cars. It did not this car, it's a different car. Joseph finished fourth out of uh, 130 something cars. He was about to go into the lead there at one point. Uh got his nose got a nose out front. Didn't uh I think we, went, the, we went on the back straightaway. Didn't, didn't quite get there at the flag stand. But anyway, ended up fourth. Good race. We had a lot of fun and we're gonna do it again this year, so good though to get it out and get a few laps in it maybe we but, get there in time so you get off that camera and help <laughs> you need the drill Cockpit's done. Can we mark it off the list? Yeah, we can. Well, there's one thing marked off. Nice. Now all you got is 28,000 other yeah, things to do. In there. <laughs> A little backstory on this car. It hasn't been raced. How long has it been since they raced it? Last year, so a year. Hadn't been raced in a year, but how he took it apart, went through it, got a lot of brand new stuff on it, including the body problem is it wasn't quite finished up and ready to race yet so that's what we're having to do is get it race ready so one thing that includes is finishing up these little odds and ends on the body like this uh the grill here and then also some cockpit stuff so we're gonna cut us out some holes and put the grill on there hang tight About done. Time to eat. Time to eat now. You bring you some burgers? Yes. <laughs> and you come back from New York City? Yeah, we can get to work now, huh? He's ready. Uh huh? Yeah, it's on live feed. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what we want to do. We can cross that off the list. No, that we're coming. All right, the grill is on the car. Man, you got a lot of work to do. Yeah. What you working on here? Gas pedal. You gotta have a gas pedal. It's gotta be in the right spot, too. Yeah, you gotta reach it. You gotta get it on the floor. Half an hour. Oh, a little, you know, the way they do that. I think it's a little bit too close right there. Too close? Well, we can adjust yeah, yeah, that, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, we can. Ain't nothing to it. See that quarter inch wrench? A little bit of quarter inch wrench? See how that gas pedal's flying? Uh huh. You can just take it and cock it down just a little bit, a little bit further down. I think it might be too close to me right yeah. there. You can rotate it on you that spine right there. Loosen this up and rotate it. Rotate. It'll be further away from it. All right, so right. turn. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Think I work for you? Let me talk her back to me just a peach. Uh, feels pretty good as long as it's not too far away when I get it wide open. Right. Mm. Mm, it ain't really got to be lowered. It just needs to be moved that way. Yeah. It's all centered. What about the throttle? Is that going to be good? Reach I it? think so. Yeah. I think it'd be good. Brake pedal good? Yeah. Gotta be able to mash it. Going when you're moving down from a, a late model to a slower, lower division here, 
What uh, what are your thoughts on that? Or the street stock? You've drove one of these. You've driven one of these before. The street stock is much fun to drive. Way funner. <laughs> way funner. <laughs> yeah. That's like Yeah. It's way more funner. Way more funner. Way much more funner. Yeah. Far, it's funner. It's funner uh, around here to race because the tracks and the groove of the track is real narrow, so mm -hmm. it kind of makes it where you can race a little bit better because the cars are narrow and right. slower compared to a late model that's faster and wider you know mm -hmm. kind of makes it tougher to, to do much racing it's funner uh more fun it's more <laughs> <laughs> more fun i'm not he's not even the english teacher over there <laughs> it, is, it is a little bit more fun to race one of these that from from the experience i had last year i had a, yeah. i had a good time driving yeah. them and well, racing them well when someone says i know we'll have someone commenting on here that what's a late model driver doing stepping down into a street stock, you know, well, cherry picking. All or, I can say is maybe they all, if that's the case, why the, Whitener, he signed up. <laughs> why yeah. they having a uh, big paying, big prestigious race, street stock races? Yeah. And I mean, I mean, golly, this stuff right here. I mean, these street stocks. I mean, it ain't like it used to be mm -hmm. street stocks. I mean, these things are pretty bad at the bone deals, and uh, they're they're full on race cars nowadays. Yep. We've uh, we had we had a good time last year and. A lot of things went our way, and if we can do it again this year, maybe we'll be there where we were again. But uh, it ain't like it's no cakewalk because I drove a late model before. Yeah. <laughs> Night. Nah, Daddy's working on hood pins. Joseph's trying to get his brake adjuster where it'll work. I'm going to slip back here and see if I can find some tires that Joseph might not be needing. Those are street stock tires, by the way. Here are our late model tires. See the difference? A lot skinnier, eight inch wheel compared to a fourteen inch wheel. All right, these are the four off the four cell car over there that Joseph won with last week. I think I'm gonna take them, flip them over, and run them again, and hope I can get the same result. We'll clean them up, wash them too. You're stealing your tires. I know. <laughs> He ain't said that. I ain't said that. Do that. Woo. Ready. All right. You got a spot for this? Oh, yeah. We found a spot for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was helpful. Uh, oh, man. That's perfect. There you go. All right. Just because I know y'all gonna ask, I do not have any more. That is the last one, but I will have some soon. We're giving it a good home. <laughs> they will be available on the website soon. Hang in there. All right, let's get that thing on there. Straight. Looks straight to me. We can pull the tape out. Twenty. Probably the same thing. Oh yeah, yeah, come on. Well, that would have been my fault. You wouldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, I had two people give me 50 bucks. They on pretty good? I think so. Well, what number are we going to put on it? Uh, well, I told them it didn't matter to me. But I think it's going to have a 10 on it. No, oh, a 10, huh? Yeah. This one's not for sale? It is. It is for sale. It will be. I mean, everything's for sale. Anytime <laughs> you see a car we're in, it's, just go ahead and know if you want it, we'll sell it to you. <laughs> yeah. So you think we're going to put a 10 on it? I think so. I thought it would be kind of nostalgic, if you will, to put for sale on it. Well, it's like the old for sale them. car. Hey, it might be. <laughs> so y'all let us know what you think. Number 10, or should we stick a for sale on it? Because it is technically for sale like everything else around here. All right, there's still a lot of stuff on there, but we got some marked off. You made progress. And you got your sticker on there. That's the winning move right there, that sticker. It has been in the past. All right, pop that rivet. All right, I'm going to get packed up and get out of here. Joseph's going to pop that rivet, and uh, we're going to try to get these cars ready to go for Saturday night. Joseph will be in that one. Not sure what number will be on it, but we'll see. I'll be in the 56. We'll be at Southern Raceway. Hopefully this car will be at the Southern Street Stock Nationals in a couple weeks at Wine House. Anyway, glad y'all watched. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give us a like. Let us know in a comment what number you think we should put on it. And we'll, uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Later.